Welcome to First Look, where we'll give you a first look at one of Lenovo's new products. Today, we'll be talking about the new ThinkCenter Tiny in One 23. I'm Kevin Beck, and I've got with me Brad Turner. Hey, Kevin, great to be here. Awesome, thank you. So, let's start, um, folks, as you can see here, we've got our new Tiny in One, and that's how we're going to refer to it. Uh, either that or TIO will be yeah. our abbreviation. So, tell us about the new TIO, Brad. Yeah, so this is a 23 inch mm -hmm. wide display. Right. Uh, the concept here, this is really a monitor shell that allows us to slot mm -hmm. Tiny into it mm -hmm. in a very simple, very easy manner. Um, it does have a couple front USBs as well mm -hmm. as two on the side, mm -hmm. so it gives you a little, um, you know, port expansion as well. Right. Uh, it has a real simple stand, height adjustable mm -hmm. with tilt on it, so right. um, give you a nice range of functionality in the okay. uh, solution here. All right, so basically we've got what looks from the front to be a standalone 23-inch monitor. Uh, but as you'll see in a few minutes, folks, uh, as we turn this around and show you a little bit about what's going on in the back, uh, it's got a slot here where we can slot in one of our tiny Think Center products and essentially turn this into an all-in-one. You got it. Right. You're right on. Okay, so you know that ease of slotting in, I think, is one of the main reasons we did this, which is like ease of installation, ease of setup, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think that serves mm -hmm. a couple needs out in the mm -hmm. marketplace, right? Mm -hmm. um, you look at some of the other desktop and, and mm -hmm. monitor combos, and sometimes they're easy to set up, and sometimes they're not. Mm -hmm. And we really went out and tried to address that need with what we think is the simplest installation that exists. Right, right, makes sense, and it um, you know it makes a couple other things easier. Uh, very easy to service, right? You just pop the tiny out if you need to. Up upgrade, put in memory, hard drive, anything like that, very easy to access. Yeah, you got it. And even to the point where over time, if you decide you want to upgrade your hardware, right. it's as easy as replacing that tiny and putting a new one in. Right, and we should talk a little bit about the flexibility that this gives you from that perspective as well, because we've got how many different uh, tiny configurations? We've now got four tinies, an right. M53, an mm -hmm. M73, mm -hmm. an M83, and an M93P, and all four of those mm -hmm. share a common ID and sh uh, shell, and we'll all fit in this device. Right, so as far as you know, whatever a customer's needs might be in terms of processor, chipset, as you go up and down the scale on that, any of them will fit into this. Yeah, right? so you know, you can think about that, you can mm -hmm. scale that with your workforce, right. depending on your, your user needs. And mm -hmm. so, if you have a, a customer that, or a use case mm -hmm. that only needs a i3 for whatever reason, right. all the way up to an i7, we mm -hmm. can really give you a wide range in there. Mm -hmm. Right, well, that's a good point. Let's, uh, let's kind of segue into a little bit about talking about, you know, who this is for. Talk a little bit about our target market and our use cases for this. So, you've got customers who, who need that flexibility, but let's talk a little bit about who that might be. Yeah, so I think there's a couple ways this addresses, or a couple things this addresses. Mm -hmm. First of all, you want a common ID across mm -hmm. your work environment. Right. Obviously, that addresses that and allows you to scale your hardware a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Um, you're looking for commonality. You see a lot of uh, call centers mm -hmm. that typically want to have the common ID across the floor. Right. This is a really great solution to go address that. Same thing when you look at the state, local, and government arena. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, there is a consistent ID requirement mm -hmm. in those environments. And again, this will really address that uh, very well. Right. And you know, to your point, Brad, if you've got a, a mixed use environment where you need some all-in-ones and potentially some standalone monitors that all have that common ID. So even if the tiny is attached and somebody needs to sit down at it with a notebook, we've got external video in, we've got USB in, you can use it as a hub, uh, you know, you can access the, uh, the, the the screen, the other USB hub. So it's, it's very flexible in that way. It brings the potential for a lot of commonality. You got it. I and mean, if you mm -hmm. have a work environment where maybe you have some hot spots with workers mm -hmm. coming and going, Mm -hmm. You know, this can be a base solution for those that are using a tiny. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a ThinkPad and they can still plug in and use that as a monitor as well. Right. You know, and it gives you a, a very easy, simple cable management as opposed to, you know, if you've got an environment where you're looking at a standalone desktop and a monitor, you've got a lot of cables to connect, disconnect, and route. But this has, uh, as you'll see when we turn it around, you'll see that it's got a lot of cable management and uh, and ease of use features as well. Yeah, that's something we put a lot of time and focus on. It was one of the key things we were really trying to address here mm -hmm. was not only only is it simple to install, mm -hmm. but it's very clean on your desk. So it really has an elegant ID and an elegant look as well. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's uh, turn it around now and let's talk a little bit about what you would do. All right, Brad, now that we've got the machine turned around where everyone can see it, let's talk a little bit about that ease of installation we discussed. Dead simple, three basic steps. You got it. Right. Open the door. Slide in the tiny. Slide in the tiny. Push in the three-in-one connector and we're done. 
What do you think? Pretty much anybody, mm -hmm. I believe, can do that. Right, and uh, and then over here on the other side, we've got uh, Kensington lock slot here, because I think this is pretty cool. So you've attached the Kensington lock, so tell me what's going on here. So as we put the cable lock in and lock it, it actually has a three-in-one security mechanism. What I mean mm -hmm. by that, it, it locks the door shut on the left, and it also locks in place that three-in-one connector so that Tiny cannot be removed from the unit. Right, so as we go across, everything is locked. Lastly, if uh, you'll take the uh, Kensington lock off there, Brad, you'll see that we can now open the door. We can get to our optical drive to install or remove that. And uh, my latch is unlocked over here, so I'm able to open the door and get it open. You got it. For those users that need to have that optical you know, mm -hmm. solution, we'll have that. For those users that don't need it, you know, you do not have to incorporate that as well. But right. uh, yeah, nice little option there for those yep. that need it. Yeah, it keeps you, uh, keeps you flexible. Uh, let you add it if you if you need it, and let you not pay for it, not, not incur the cost if you don't. Right? You got it right, and we are seeing okay. right. And we all know, you know, yeah. opticals are starting to uh, disappear a little bit in the industry. So mm -hmm. we have a solution that can support mm -hmm. those that need it and those that don't. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit now about some of the options. So we did mention the uh, the Kensington lock cable. Yep. Right. So as I said, that's fully integrated here. So once the Kensington lock is engaged, it locks down the optical uh, or the bay for the optional optical, but it also interlocks with the latch here that keeps everything uh, attached. So that once that's on, not only do you have the physical security of not being able to take the system away, everything is locked down so you can't get into you it. You got it, right? So pretty much a really nice two in one solution mm -hmm. there from a security standpoint. Right. Uh, and then, of course, <coughs> we've got things like our, our uh, track point keyboard with Bluetooth, our wireless mouse. You know, any kind of uh, upgrades that you'd want above and beyond a standard uh, mouse and keyboard, that are, those are going to work with this as well. Yeah, obviously. you got it, right? And it also yeah. has front, you know, USB. So mm -hmm. if you need to stick in a memory key on the fly, yep. whatever it may be, you know, all those ports are easily accessible mm -hmm. as well. Right, and then uh, you know, for folks who want to as well, we can uh, take off the stand, and we got a full Visa mounting plate on the back here, so it's uh, you got it. Yeah, in that sense, like fully as fully mountable as any monitor or uh, or all in one in the yeah, market. Yeah, will function just like base, those basic needs you tend to see in the you mm -hmm. know with all our other monitors. Right. And then, of course, lastly, but never leastly, let's talk about the uh, service enablement, right? Folks are going to put this into enterprise type environments, so they're going to need a full suite of warranty upgrades. Yeah, so we're going to have uh, both an on-site situation where you can pair that and mirror that with your Tiny. Right. We will also have our traditional Monitor Exchange service as well. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll, you'll be able to solution this from a service standpoint um, in multiple ways. But we really have, we'll have a nice um, family of services available to solution this product. Right, because if you've got uh, a warranty on your Tiny and you choose to upgrade that, you're going to want to upgrade the warranty on the TIO so that you have a matched set of uh, service capabilities. That would be our recommendation yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, folks, uh, there you have it, our latest first look at the Think Center Tiny in 123. For more information, go to Lenovo.com. Thank you.